Hello everyone and welcome to my show. If you are not familiar, my name is Tarek and in this show I talk about anything new in the wireless world. It's all the new stuff, basically. And uh, first off, I want to apologize for not releasing a video sooner than this, you know. I've been kind of busy lately and I haven't gotten a chance to actually put a video out, but uh, here it is, I guess. It comes whenever it comes, so stay tuned, you know. That's why I tell people to subscribe to the channel so you'll know when my new videos are out. Today I'm actually gonna introduce a new handset. I was supposed to do a review on a couple of phones like the ZTE score phone that just came out. I was gonna do a comparison between it and between the LG Optimus and the Ascent 2. I'm gonna put that on hold for now, you know, because I have a new handset that Cricket just released and to me that's a bit more important to talk about, you know, to let you know what's out there for Cricket. And uh, this is the new phone. It is called the Samsung Transfix. Transfix. Sounds like Transformers stuff. But uh, here's the box. It's a little box. Let's read some of the stuff that's actually on the box to see what it's all about. Samsung Transfix. Well, we already know it's an Android powered smartphone and it has the Android market, stereo Bluetooth, 3.2 megapixel camera and camcorder, MP3 player, 3.2 inch HVGA touchscreen, Wi Fi, and QWERTY keyboard. See, those are the things that I was talking about right here. See, the main new thing was the QWERTY keyboard. A lot of people have been asking for it. Actually, they already have an Android phone. It's called the Samsung Indulge. It has a keyboard and touchscreen. But the problem is the price. That phone is priced at like $329 which is ridiculous, you know, that's, that's a bit too much. Not everybody can afford it. I mean, it's a great phone. It has a one gigahertz processor and it has a really cool features. I mean, I have the phone right here. Actually, I'll let you take a look at it. There is the phone, that is the Indulge, actually. It's a pretty neat phone and it has a keyboard and it has a huge screen, that's what I like about it. But uh, you know what? It really looks similar to the Transfix and the Transfix is a much cheaper price than $179.99 right now, you know? You know how it is, Cricket always comes out with the they'll, they'll reduce the price very soon, so don't be surprised. So, we're gonna go over the phone right quick, I'm not gonna take too long of your time, I'm just gonna talk about it right quick. A lot of people are gonna ask me, oh, how the keyboard look like, how the internet looks like, I'm gonna do all that right quick. I've never touched the phone actually, I just got the box, I haven't opened it yet. I don't even know what the phone is capable of doing, so we'll find out together, okay? So, let's go ahead and pop this baby open. All right, so let's get a clear view over here on this. And uh, let's take a look at it now. Now, let's pop this box open and see what's on the inside. What do you get? Like I said, I've never opened one before. Okay, nothing is in here. Empty box, so let's put that aside. Uh, let's go quickly over these things here. Transfix, uh, quick reference manual. Everything to know about the phone and basically how to operate it quick start guide Meh, read me first kind of similar information also maximize your experience what's in here mobile web ringtone graphics games and apps cricket flex bucket that tells you a lot about services this is service wise over here it tells you what you can get out of your phone and your service you know put that aside okay we have a USB it's a micro USB cable a very cool and unusual Samsung USB AC adapter which is really cool and small I mean it's really tiny I like that that means it won't take a lot of space if you plug it in your uh, outlet so that's a good thing it won't occupy a huge, a huge space especially if you plug in multiple things into one outlet at the same time so it's pretty good here you have the phone and your battery so let's get this opened Oh, come on now. A lot of people were complaining, like, oh, take the plastic off the phone when you do a review. I'm like, uh, no, I can't do that for one reason, because these phones belong to the store and I have to sell these phones, so... You know, I try my best. Don't ask for too much, though. <laughs> Anyways, let's cover this serial number. I uh, don't want nobody to get it. But uh, this is how the phone looks, basically. See, it has a two gigabyte memory card included. You see that right there? Focus camera. Hello? Okay. Well, it is a two gigabyte memory card. Let's put that back in there. 
comes preloaded with the phone and has a 15 I'm assuming 15 is it yeah it's a 1500 milliamp battery you can take a look at that 1500 milliamp which is which is a good capacitive battery I mean it's, it's pretty good it's very standard on on a lot of smartphones okay looking at this phone the first look I see it is really neat very sleek around corners has some kind of uh, metal finish a little silvery finish here goes all around the screen goes the, to the bottom and to the side so quick look at the phone uh, get your speaker to talk to the phone and then you got your quick button search back home and menu all these are touch buttons which is really cool it looks very nice it has a nice screen I love the feeling of the phone actually it's it's not big and it's not small so it's kind of on a good side it has a good size to it so on the right side you have your power and screen lock button on the top part you have your 3.5 jack and this is to put like a string I guess to put it around your neck a lot of people carry their phones around their neck so that's the string hole right there and on this side here you have your volume rocker up and down which is kind of weird you can't really feel which way <laughs> but I mean it, it, it does the function you won't be using that too much anyways at the bottom side we have your micro USB port and your microphone uh, quick note here uh, tell a lot of people about this microphone thing a lot of people sometimes have issues uh, saying that oh people cannot hear me on the other end and uh, especially I get that a lot with women because they put everything in their purses <laughs> and it's ridiculous you, get, you put lotions and all kind of stuff in the purse sometimes it get mixed up with the phone and this little itty bitty hole over here gets kind of filled in with stuff and when that happens of course people won't be able to hear you so the best thing to do is when people can hear you on the other end check this first check it try to clean it up if you get like a little thing but don't poke it all the way in because you can actually poke your microphone and then destroy the microphone basically so that's a quick note to you guys and be very gentle with the charging port I tell people a lot of them don't yank it and play with it look when you put phone, your phone on the charger let it charge you know let it charge leave it alone basically okay quick thing you notice about this one that it slides open and it has a full QWERTY keyboard it has actually a four line keyboard which is awesome so you had your numbers have their own uh, buttons on there it's got dedicated button I mean number buttons on there which is good so you don't have to do the shift and you know to get to the numbers you can just push the numbers right away it looks very nice it's very easy to touch it's very user-friendly and the buttons are kind of spaced out I like that I hate when the keyboard has buttons that are like close to each other you know that's when you start making mis mistakes typing but uh let's see what's up with it when we turn it on let's turn this baby on and see how the actual on-screen keyboard works a lot of people ask about that and that matters to me because I barely use uh, actual physical keyboards oh it's backlit keyboard too the lights up so that's great if you're typing at night you can see what you're typing so spout it on 